Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Chiram Malayala. Filling JE mains application form is always an important step in order to write the JE mains. So whatever you have prepared for your last two years, that depends on the exam which you are going to give. That is JE mains if you are preparing for it. So if you want to write it properly without any problems in the later phase after writing, after getting result during the counseling or when you are going to get the admission through that score, it is always necessary, it is always suggested that you have to fill the application form with a proper mind and with carefully you should fill the application form. So I already asked you people to wait for my video, right? So finally the video is coming out now. So please watch the video till the end carefully. So video will be a bit lengthy, but don't worry guys. So that much content is there in the, this particular video. Video may be lengthy, but I have covered each and everything related to application form. Just watch the video carefully and complete your application form and all the best for your preparation. So yeah, do follow the steps which I am saying again and again in this particular video. Don't miss them. So without taking much time, let's get into the video. Now that the JEM and dates are out. You also should write mock test, right? So if you want to write an all India mock test series by an academy for JE 2022 in a JE main pattern for physics, chemistry and maths. So it is starting from March 6th. Every Sunday will be having from 2 to 5. So it's a created by top educators and video solution will be given to each question after the exam. After the exam, you'll also get a detailed report to identify where you are strong and where you need to improve in order to get the more score. So top 200 learners will get 100% scholarships and you also win a chance to win. You also have a chance to win 100% US Light Scholarship. Use my code CharanYT and my link in the description to enroll freely for this particular All India Mock Test Series by An Academy. IDJ combat 21 questions 60 minutes you can write from Android app and as well as on the web. It's a live test. So on 6th March 11 a.m. for all the classes 11, 12, 13 preparing for IDJ. So based on your rank in this particular test from 1 to 150, you are going to split the scholarships. And for the top 25 rankers, you will get merit certificates. Enroll now freely using the link in the description and my code CharanYT. Hello guys, I am here at the JE Men's NTA official website. If you just see here, this is how the website looks. I will be linking this official website link in the description. See guys, after coming here, you can see on the right, there is a registration for JE Men's 2022. Just click that. Just click OK. So you will be directed to another website. This is where you need to do everything. So just see. Uh, if you already registered, if you already have application number and password, use them and just enter the security pin and click on sign in and uh, do all whatever you wanted to do on your application form on your dashboard. Or else, if you are registering newly, so what you have to do on the left, left side, so there are three steps. First step is apply for online registration. Second step is fill online application form. Third step is pay examination. On the left, there is a button called new registration, right? Just click that. So once after clicking that, so this is how it is registration, application form, fee payments, three steps. Here they have given everything related to the uh, fees, session fees like for uh, general OBC male 650 for female or transgender in general OBC and CL EWS 325 for uh, outside students 3500 respectively for SCST PWD male 325 female 325. So this is how the paper uh, fees is all about and if you wanted to write two papers the fees will be for general and OBC 1300 for a female or transgender 650 SCST PWD male and female transgender everyone 650 if you want to write two papers or three papers okay so now let me just uh, scroll this if you scroll this they have given the step one registration step two application form where you need to upload the recent photograph should be either color or black and white with 80 percent of face without mask visible including ears against a white background so you should have a white background photo and scanned photograph and signature should be in jpg format and the size of the scanned photograph should be 10 kb to 200 kb clearly uh, legible and the size of the signature should be 4 kb to 30 kb so check the sizes before you upload and scanned copy of the category certificate between 10 kb to 300 kb clearly legible so scanned copy of pwd certificate between 10 kb to 300 kb clearly legible so see guys what are all the things you need to upload one is category certificate and if you are a pwd i mean physically handicapped that one you should upload and you should upload a signature and you should upload a photograph so these are the four things which you need to upload during the application form so there are some important instructions about password it should be like 8 to 13 characters long one should be at least one uppercase at least one lowercase and at least one numeric value and at least one special character can be at the rate exclamation mark hashtag dollar sign uh, percentage sign anything like ex one kind of special character should be there in your password so decide a password such a way that no one guesses it okay something like 
if i for example uh, my name is uh, raju raju at the rate your date of birth 012121 something like that okay so it's up to you how you um, have you set your own password go on this check box and uh, click here to proceed so let me just uh, fill here so first they are asking me about the personal details but name father name mother name let me just fill that you can also fill that present address you can fill that so let me just enter all the details i have filled all my personal details and uh, present address so i'm just clicking that same as per permanent address is same as present address so everything is done now so it's time to set the password now the thing is like uh, during if you want to if you forget your uh, password if you want to reset that password so this is where it is going to help you security question they will ask you to keep keep a security question out of all this question which website do you rarely visit your first school your neighbor's pet name what is the registration number of your first vehicle and what is your favorite book so like uh, you can just uh, choose any one of the question and keep the answer okay take a paper and pen so enter everything write everything like what password you kept okay see guys uh, i took a paper and i wrote everything like password and uh, security question and what answer i gave because for future use it will be helpful for me so like that take a paper or something like notes and write all those information there so which will be helpful for you okay just click on submit so just it is asking to please review your thing and so if, if at all if you find any mistakes in this particular application form so you can do edit because once after submitting you can't edit it so just check everything is right or not yeah i done okay done so just click on check this so i checked everything like mother name date of birth gender address mobile number email id so that whatever your data worth you are taking like if you are sub going to submit the data worth proof in the counseling that should match so please check with that mostly match the data worth which is on your 10th memo okay 10th uh, mark sheet or 10th memo okay just click on i agree so if you find that there is some mistakes click on edit registration form and uh, fill that and if you find that if you see that everything is up to the point just click on i agree here and then click submit and send otp so uh, one time password is received to the mobile number so i have to enter that one time otp here and just submit the registration form yeah i received that otp so this is the otp which i received and just i'm clicking submit registration form we have got an application number on the right you can see here right so this note down this application number also for future use so i'm noting down them done so on the right name is charan application number is there and we have the password we have the security question we have the security answer done everything is done as of now note them all of them on the paper or in, on a, or in a book or in your phone it's up to you where you wanted to note down so that if you forget like it, it will be kind of for future reference now the see, see now the thing is registration form is completed so we also need to complete application form and also we also need to complete the fee payment just click on complete application form here or else see guys uh, it's not like you have to continuously do everything at one go so now you have the application number and your password right so either you can complete application form just clicking that and go ahead filling all these details see fill personal details so you can just fill all this now itself or else i wanted to fill tomorrow so what i can do is just click after going here again come to the official website click on register for je mens 2022 okay and here application number we have application number right which we have written on the paper so use that i have used that application number you know the password you know the security pin as shown in the below just click on sign in boom you are again logged in right that is how that is how it will work so now what you have to do complete application form so you have to complete all that details first go to personal details so personal details is asking everything related to so there they have asked a very little now here they are asking some more details okay so you have to complete all the details nationality indian where you passed your 12th so that is your home state okay so wherever you passed your 12th will become your home state so category general edfs and if you are a pwd candidate so i am not a pwd candidate so are you diabetic no place of residence it's a rural okay annual family income up to 1 lakh mode of preparation self study so you can keep self study or coaching it's up to you not an issue medium of schooling in qualifying examination is english right so if you are from urdu medium or telugu medium or hindi medium just keep forwarding to that save and next yes right so i submitted my personal details so do you have uh, aadhar card number aadhar number yes click on submit uh, see guys uh, there is no age limit for uh, je mains application but you should be passed your 12th standard at least on 2020 2021 or 2022 so either writing in exams in 2022 or passed already in 2021 or 2020 so in that case only you are eligible if, even if you have 50 years 
if you passed your 12th in the last 3 years i mean including this year in the last 2 years and including this year so you are eligible to write j emails so just enter all this enter your other number and click on confirm and submit next so after completing the other details so the next thing is exam and center details like what exams you wanted to apply for so i want to only apply for paper one if you want to apply for br also like just click on this so what uh see i don't want for br so i'm just applying for paper one now so right sessions applied for only session one as of now and the question paper medium so english so which uh, exam state or city first state will be telangana and exam city i wanted to keep karimnagar because it is very near to me so i wanted to give like father or guardian uh, like i mean occupation business father father or guardian qualification uh, post graduate mother occupation uh, it's like what we can keep others including housewife so it's like she completed 10th matriculate and save and next almost we are uh, coming to an end now coming to qualification details you have to enter all your qualification details here like now coming to 12th so i already passed right i already wrote 20 in 2020 so i already passed if you are writing your 12th standard in 2022 just write like appearing appearing this year so passed year of passing 2020 so qualifying examination it's like uh, intermediate or two year pre-university so it's up to you according to your uh, board so enter the security pin 1cc161 just click on save and next yes now additional details are there uh, docu document upload and final submit so what is the additional details like are you a twin no so enter the security pin so save and next and now here comes the photograph with 80 percent of face without mask okay and signature should be there category certificate should be there okay i'm just uploading my done so right next signature uploaded signature and category certificate we should upload the ewa certificate right so i am just upload after choosing every file now i chose every file here just click on upload here and just click on upload here then click on upload here so that will upload everything see everything is got uploaded uploaded document if you click this so whatever you uploaded will show here just click on save and next yes so please review the following uh, before you finally submit like name, father name, mother name, date of birth, gender, category, personal with disability, question paper, medium, state from where you completed your 12th or equivalent are appearing. So just okay, it's asking to check everything. If everything is perfect, so yeah, everything is perfect. Okay, first we need to check all these boxes. We have to check everything is perfect or not and click on I agree and submit application form. Yes. See guys, now registration form is for done and application form is also done, complete and complete. Now the only thing which is left is incomplete is fee payment. Just click on fee payment and click on online payment, proceed for payment, okay. And then after going here, you have the option like SBI, MOPS, Canara Bank, ICIC, HDFC payment gateway, Paytm payment gateway. I suggest, I suggest, I suggest go for HDFC payment gateway because last year a lot of people faced a lot of issues when they use SBI MOPS. So try to utilize HDFC pay, bank payment gateway. So you need not to have HDFC account for paying for that. It's a gateway. It's a like middleman. So I have SBI. So uh, this is JEMS account. In between that, the money transfer will be happened through HDFC. My money will be de debited, directed from my SBI account by HDFC bank and that HDFC bank will transfer that amount to JEMN and DA people. So that is what the payment gateway is all about. You need not to have HDFC debit card or credit card or account in order to pay. So this is a payment gateway, just a payment gateway. Just choose that HDFC pay bank payment gateway and click on proceed for payment. And after that, after going there, you see here, this is our 650 because I only chose one egg, one paper, which is JMS paper one and I am a general AWS category male student. If I am a female, it should be like, it would be like 325 rupees. So if I selected two papers uh, with same category and male, it would be 1300, but now it is 650. So pay with, so here you have optional credit card for HDFC, HDFC bank debit card. If you don't have other bank credit card, other bank debit card, net banking. So I I suggest here again go for net banking rather than debit card or credit card or UPI. So if you don't have net banking, then go for debit or credit cards should be your second option. Final option should be your UPI. So don't directly go for UPI. It will create issues. So net banking. So I have state bank net banking. So if you have SDFC, use that pick option. If you don't have that, whatever bank like Axis Bank, Paytm, I mean State Bank of India, ICICI, Kotak Mahindra, Inter Payments Bank. I choose. State Bank of India, click proceed, enter my details and pay the fees, done. 
so we are done with the application form after completing the payment you will get a receipt that is what your application form is download that keep it safe and so that's it for this video guys uh, after paying the payment you will get a receipt and you can download your application form take four copies give one each to your mother father brother or sister and one keep with yourself so that's done so if at all some issues will happen they are there to help you so that is the reason i'm asking you to distribute that application form among your family members so that will be uh, that will make your work easy even if you forgot something so that's it guys uh, if you find this is a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind